Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jebediah. Today we're going to be working on something that uh, I've been waiting for a while to get, which is a cover, a canopy, or I think the technical term is bamini top for my John boat. My boat is a little bit different. It has a Versatrack system and the gunnels. It's got a little mounting system. We're gonna use that today just so that I don't have to drill into the actual gunnel or under the boat itself to mount anything permanently. Because like I said, this thing sees a ton of different kinds of uses. Uh, it's a utility boat. I wanna be able to use it for everything. So I want most of the stuff to be on there, able to take off without having to permanently mark or mar or mount anything on the boat. So. Follow along, let's get to it, and hopefully you can see not only how to put on a top and cover like this, but what it looks like if you have a boat like mine. So, here we go. So this is the kit I ordered. It was off of Amazon. Um, I could put the link for that in the description below. It's just a standard canopy, so it's eight inches long, 54 inches tall. Um, comes with a variety of colors. I chose gray, just because that seemed to look like it might be the best on my boat. And then has all the hardware included, everything that you would need to mount it permanently to your boat. But because, like I said earlier, I'm gonna just temporarily use the Versatrack system to mount it, I had to buy this, which is a Brocraft. I have one of these as well for my downrigger setup from this company, and uh, the parts are actually made really well. They're aluminum. You pay, it's expensive, but um, yeah, they seem totally worth it, especially for me and my application, because I want to be able to take this canopy on and off really easy without having to permanently mount something on top of my boat. So we're going to use this hardware and all of these pieces, put them all together, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, the canopy is done for the most part over there. Basically, it's put together. I might have to change a few things, but the canopy is done. Now we're gonna move towards mounting into the Versatrack system. So like I said, this is a product from Brocraft. I have their downrigger assembly. It works great. These things, really well made. Um, it comes with, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it this far away on the camera, but it comes with four of these little cleats, which hook into the canopy, and then two large base mounting brackets, which fit onto the side and carry the main weight of, the, of that tent. So we're gonna get to mounting these. I'll probably have to adjust it, slide it back and forth a little bit, but let's get to it. One of the nice things, I think I mentioned this already, is this boat has the versus track system. So it uses pretty much a half inch carriage bolt, which slide into the side of the gunnel here. Just take a couple of these, slide them in. Here is the like base bracket, the base mounting bracket. It fits right on here. Brocraft has been good enough to supply us with these nuts that lock. And that is literally it no drilling no tapping nothing now the nice thing too is if i'm a little bit off i can just untighten these and this whole thing slides so it's worth it if you have the money to buy something like this If you are going to be running the regular hardware that comes in the package, this is what you're going to use right here to mount it to the top of your gunnel. So instead of this thing being here, 
you have this. It comes with the screws that are provided. You just find a spot you like, drill it straight in. If I remember right, the drews are self-tapping. Here is the bracket that you use instead of this. So this is the one that came in the Brocraft kit. This is the one that comes in the Canopy kit. Same deal, screws directly to the top here. And then this bolt fits straight in with the locking nut. So all the hardware is provided. You shouldn't need to run to the store, which is nice. All right, finally, the mounting hardware is on. It took me all of about a minute and a half. We're going to now lift up this canopy and put it on here. Hopefully it fits, <laughs> or hopefully it's close. Okay. Well, let's see if I can get this thing up here by myself. This is probably a two person job. Oh, which way's the front? Uh, all right. This is probably a two person job, but my kids are inside doing their schoolwork, so that's me right now. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm ready for this thing to be done because it's really hot and I'm sweating super bad. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. What does this thing actually look like on the boat? Let's clip the other side in and we're good to go. So this thing is awesome. As you can tell, it covers about half the boat. I mean, actually not about, exactly half. It's a 16 foot boat with an eight foot canopy on it. I was even able to get up in here and almost stand up. I'm six foot two and I'm barely touching in here the top of this thing. It's a 54 inch high from mounting to top, but including the depth of my boat, I can almost stand up. Now, everyone else in my family fit perfectly. If you're interested in this, go check the description. The Amazon link will be there. And if you're interested in anything about this boat, check some of the other videos. I have a boat video on, oh goodness, the motor. It's a four stroke, 25 horsepower Mercury. Even has a video of us inner tubing, towing my kids, as well as this is a Tracker Grizzly 1548 Sportsman. Um, so I have a review on this boat. I have a review on the boat blind that I use to hunt out of, a beaver, a beaver tail 1600. I have that video and how to mount a bow mounted trolling motor. Even my newest video, which is the uh, Hydrowave Mini that comes that I put on here, as well as just a bunch of other stuff. So go ahead and check out some of the other videos I have. Hopefully if it's enjoyable for you, hopefully this has helped you decide whether or not a uh, canopy cover Bomini top, whatever you want to call it, is worth it for you and your application and what you're wanting to use it for. I think for me, it's going to end up being perfect. So, that's about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.